Hey family, so the Lord wanted me to come on here to remind these prophetesses, uh, prophets, preachers, whoever it is that the Lord gave a promise to. He wanted me to remind them about what it says in his word because it's like they pick and choose what they want to obey. Okay, so I heard them in the spirit saying, God, you promised like crying out to God saying, God, you promise, but we're supposed to keep our end as well. You literally can't just expect to take from God and not to give. You can't expect that he's just going to bless you and you don't have some obligation. So they're blaming God right now. They're blaming God for what's about to happen to them and what's happening to them. As far as their marriages as well, because there's people getting divorces and about to get divorces. And look, y'all, this is also to let you guys know, do not be like them. Do not be like them when the Lord blesses you, because it literally says in here what's going to happen. So they cannot blame God. They cannot the Lord had patience with them. And you want to know something the Lord revealed to me today is that the reason why when they because they didn't just all of a sudden persecute me. They didn't just all of a sudden not do what the Lord told them to do when it came to sowing a seed to me. It's not just me. All right. These people have been doing this in their promised land for some time now. They've been drinking wine using that as their way to celebrate when the lord says celebrate he does not mean drink wine he actually told us in the last days to be sober minded and those who are you know getting drunk with wine and running around careless that you know jesus is gonna come back like a thief in the night they ain't gonna know where to go they ain't gonna know what to do they did not pay t attention to they did not pay attention to what the Lord said in his word. OK, it's bad enough that they didn't preach the gospel of Jesus Christ because there's prophets on here that just prophesy. They don't teach Jesus Christ. They don't preach sin. They don't tell the truth. They don't expose the darkness. That's the whole point. That's the whole point. Why would you want people to just be excited about something? I just I don't know. I don't understand it, but. Y'all, oh wait, I forgot. They wanted seeds to be sown to them. That's why, what am I talking about? They used people. They got them all excited. They amped them up, hyped them up. They sold seeds. I mean, that's what it was for, duh. But we're going to go to Deuteronomy 28. This is why you can't blame God when he takes back what he gave you. Because... In the word, it also says he gives and he takes away. So just as quickly as he can give it to you, he can take it right away. OK, so I'm not going to read all of Deuteronomy 28, but I'm going to just summarize the beginning. So basically in Deuteronomy 28, the Lord is telling you what will happen if you obey his commandments, you will be blessed when you go in, blessed when you go out. Your blessings will literally come on you, overtake you. You will be blessed in a city, in a field, the fruit of the body, the fruit of the ground, the fruit of your cattle, increase of your kind. Like, literally, you're just blessed. <laughs> literally, the Lord is saying everything you touch is going to be blessed. That's what he's saying. He's saying everything that you touch is going to be blessed, okay? And whoever curses you, the Lord is going to curse, right? But then we go down to Deuteronomy 28 and 15. I don't know how they missed it. When I read this verse, I was like, okay, Lord, look, I'm going to stay with you. We, we here. Okay. I see you. You see me. You, we, we got this. Okay. Awesome. I understand what you're saying. <laughs> I'm not about to come against you. Like, this is the thing. Like, you should fear the Lord. They don't have a real fear of the Lord. Oh, that's what I, before I get into that, that's what I was going to say is that the reason the Lord allowed them to continually be blessed, even after they've, you know, sinned in the land, really, you know, they disobeyed him. Um, they forsake the Lord thy God. He allowed this because he knew that would keep them on YouTube. He knew that that would keep them 
motivating and really because these people I was watching some of them not all of them but some of them I was watching right he knew that that was gonna motivate me so really these people didn't really train me Jesus really trained me because he was telling me not to do certain things that they were doing so y'all hear me y'all following so Jesus trained me but they motivated me and in that time that was needed but they are no longer needed y'all see what i'm saying so he used them right people want to say use me god use me he literally used them to motivate me because i'm the bride and i you know i need to i needed to hear certain things in that moment okay but y'all now it's definitely not needed i no longer need motivation and we're going to go to what happens when you forget the Lord and the promise. Because he's like, look, I'm going to bring you into your promised land. Do not forsake me. They didn't take that literal. I don't know what. I don't know. I don't know why they didn't take it serious. but Or why they're confused. But this is literally what it says, y'all. The word tells you everything. But it shall come to pass if you will not hearken unto the voice, if you will not listen unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, watch, be watchful, be obedient, be careful to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day that all these curses shall come up on thee and overtake thee. So the opposite's going to happen. If you, if you disobey the Lord in a promise, if you don't listen to what he is saying and he done gave you the promise, are you kidding me? Are you kidding him? Are you kidding us? Cursed shall thou be in the city and cursed shall thou be in the field. Cursed shall be thy basket and thy store. Cursed shall be thy fruit of thy body and the fruit of thy land, the increase of thy kind and the flocks of thy sheep. Cursed shall thou be when thou comest in. So cursed will you be when you come in and cursed will you be when you go out. The Lord shall send upon you cursing, vexation and rebuke in all that thou settest thine hand to. Everything you touch will be cursed. So the Lord is leading me to say this. Everybody that's under their prophetic ministry is cursed. Because they follow them and they don't even know what's going on, y'all. These people have groomed these Pharisees and Sadducees to the point where they don't even know what's going on right now. And y'all do. So they've been hearing these prophecies. They've been hearing a couple of verses from, you know, scripture. Most of them from the old testament never really hear them quoting any scripture from the new testament but yeah until you are destroyed and until you perish quickly because of the wickedness of thy doings whereby thou hast forsaken me the lord shall make the pestilence cleave unto you so disease it will fall on you now you have opened yourself up to the enemy to the point where you can catch the diseases. You can catch the corona now at this point until he have consumed thee from off of the land, whether you go as to possess it. So he's saying these people have to leave this land before he blesses me, before he blesses you, before he brings us into the promised land. And they can go on and read that. They can go on and read that. Um, but I'm going to get into a little bit of you know they thought i was okay lord help me leave me leave me leave me they thought they were affecting me by not sowing the seed and i'm gonna bring up the seed again because this is the biggest reason why they have to go through what they're gonna have to go through because they were not obedient and they chose the wrong one to do it too they didn't take the bride of christ serious they didn't take revelation 12 serious the Lord said that they wanted to prolong his coming. They were not ready for his coming. That shows how of this world they are that they did not want to leave. They wanted to stay on this earth. So they thought that by doing that, by not sowing a seed, like how deceived do you have to be? This is a strong delusion. 
that God allowed to happen. Because how do you know God's word? How do you know his word? And you're so deceived into thinking you can prolong the coming of Jesus. Are you crazy? I heard people in the spirit saying, replace her. They wanted to, they wanted God to replace me being the bride. Even though it was already prophesied that I was going to be the bride. Even though he felt I was perfect enough. They didn't, he did, and they thought he was going to change his mind. Imagine walking up to a bridegroom saying, um, by the way, I don't think you should marry her. I think you should choose someone else so y'all can persecute her too. So y'all can hate on her too. Cause anybody that Jesus picked is going to be perfect. You're going to hate perfection. You're going to be jealous of that regardless. So it doesn't matter who he picks. The problem ain't me. The problem is you. Saith the Lord. The problem is you saith the Lord. It doesn't matter who he chose. Because regardless, they were going to be perfect. And it's going to be me regardless. So I don't know what y'all thought. But absolutely not. Call yourself rebuking me. Y'all can't rebuke me. The Lord is literally allowing me to hear y'all rebuking me and says, rebuke them. <laughs> like, they're so confused. They're so deceived. I don't know why they're confused as to why God's about to bring wrath upon them. But let me just get into it. So they don't understand that what they stopped wasn't me, right? They messed with God's timing. There's kids out in Africa being sex trafficked that he wanted me to get to, right? So they didn't know that sowing that seed was going to lead to this, was going to lead to that, was going to lead to me going to Africa to this particular place that he gave me to go to. And free them from sex trafficking. I literally saw people taking pictures of little kids to be trafficked. To be sent away. Families selling their little kids. This is what y'all stopped. So when God says he's mad, he's mad. Y'all were thinking about y'all self. Y'all were being selfish. Y'all were motivated by your flesh. And now look, you don't know, you don't understand that God has a reason for everything he does, everything he says by this point. This is the body of Christ we're talking about. This is lives we're talking about. What are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? I don't see lives getting saved on your channel. I see testimonies about oh i got this job oh i got this car oh i got this oh I that's the fruit that y'all have material things they got a job guess what i know people that got a job without god so you're not doing a thing not to say god can't bless you with a job but do you hear what is coming out of my mouth right now rather than people's lives getting saved are y'all curing cancer out of people are y'all laying hand, are y'all laying hands on people Setting people free? Are y'all delivering people from sin? No, you're not. This is why he's mad. Because y'all stopped real power, real authority, real dominion from doing what he wanted to get done. This is a global thing. And y'all thought God wasn't going to... Look, it's so like confounding to me why they thought that this was okay. And the reason why these people are going to go to hell is because how are they going to be able to look at Jesus and God on judgment day, knowing what they did to the bride? They're going to have guilt regardless there's no amount of repentance that is going to take that guilt away. That's why he said everybody that did this, everybody that didn't sow the seed, everybody that tried to stop the bride, everybody that thought they was going to hurt me, everybody that wanted to see me cry. Guess what? You didn't just touch me. You touched Jesus. So when you look at his face on judgment day, you ain't going to have nothing to say. 
is still going to be guilt in your heart because you cannot take back what you did to who you did it to. His bride. Y'all are so deceived. And that's all I'm going to say for this video. People are looking at y'all like y'all are crazy. Because you got to be there has to be a demon at work in you for you to not see what was coming. Even blind bottom maids could see what was coming.